welcome to Edison Open Forum Cannabinoids 2021. My name is Vivian Parry. Now, legalization, increasing acceptance and demand for both pharmaceutical and consumer products mean the cannabinoid industry is booming. By 2026, the global market is estimated to be worth $60 billion, but biosynthesis could take it to new heights. Edison Open Forum asked the brightest minds in CBD what they think the impact of biosynthesis will be and what's next for their sector. With me is Golan Britton, CEO of Univo Pharmaceuticals. Golan, hello. Hi, how are you? Very good, thank you. Now, you're a medical cannabis company. Tell me what you do, because you're an integrated company with both farms and pharma, if I can put it like that. Yeah, actually in Israel, uh, you have to grow it in a farm under the GMP, uh, IMC, GAP certified. Uh, so the growing part is uh, actually um, going from the seed until the pharmacy stores is all controlled by the Ministry of Health. After you grow it, you have to produce it in a IMC GMP uh, manufacturing. It's actually parallel to the GMP uh, pharma, as you know, from any kind of pharmaceuticals that you have. And after that, you have to sell it in the pharmacy store, like any un under uh, prescription, like any pharmaceuticals that you that you know. And uh, in, in Univo, we have the all supply chain, we have the farm, we have the manufacturing, and we have the pharmacy store as well in uh, the center of Israel. Uh, we actually distribute to 150 pharmacy stores in Israel as well. Uh, we have our all line of uh, products, uh, including uh, CBD products, including THC products, high THC, high CBD, and the balance products. Uh, we actually distribute oils and flowers, and we have the R&D part uh, that uh, actually developed the, 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 new, the new product that's going to be coming soon. That's a, that's a pretty comprehensive coverage of the, of the cannabis uh, market. But tell me, uh, what's driving the increase, do you think, in the market at the moment? Actually, there is a huge demand. There is a huge demand to this. Uh, it's, it's not actually a drug. It's, it's between uh, supplements to a, to a pharmaceutical. It's something in between. So uh, uh, there is a huge demand because we know it's work but we don't know how it's work. We know it's work uh, to patient and to PTSD uh, symptoms. It's working on uh, another symptoms like uh, epilepsy and uh, uh, Crohn disease and another symptoms that actually the illness, we know it's work and it's worked tremendous. It's doing something that uh, the patient didn't get from a, a, another, another, another drug that they already buy. So the huge demand are really, really increased because if two or three or four years ago, it was prohibited to use cannabis, now it's uh, more likely. It's uh, uh, the population are actually looking at as something as uh, uh, the given majority to the illness. So it's came more popular in, the, in this industry right now. Even in London, we know that. Now Biosynthesis is coming on the scene and there are always problems with the production of the plants because it's of such variable quality depending on season and temperatures and all those kind of things. So how do you see biosynthesis affecting this whole sector? Look, in, in this industry, in the cannabis industry, uh, there is a lot of things that we don't know more than things that we know. So actually, we don't know what kind of, uh, of uh, uh, cannabis strain going to what effect or what this kind of cannabinoids or this specific cannabinoids working on what specific syndrome or, or indication. So we don't know how it's going to work or what are the really side effects. We know that there is mi minority side effects. That's why we don't use those uh, 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 we don't use those side effects right now. We are, it's working. We know how it's work. We sell it. We know that. Look, in Israel, it's it's forty ton per year. It's it's when one hundred and one hundred thousand patient right now in Israel. It's a huge market. 
So we don't really know how we use those uh, side effects, those, uh, uh, how you call it, uh, uh, PC uh, uh, bio, bio symptoms. So, so we don't know how, how it's work. But do you see that biosynthesis might be helpful? In other words, that, you know, when you do know exactly which cannabinoids you want in quantity, you can use biosynthesis, or do you see a future in which there are still crops, whether they're outside you, or inside? Of course, you can isolate it. If you can isolate it, those specific cannabinoids, you can know how it's worked, but there is no, but, but there is no the syndrome effect uh, or uh, the, um, the, the, the entourage effect. There is the entourage effect that's actually said that uh, uh, some kind of cannabinoids uh, in the same in the same or not in, in the same uh, uh, junction can work on the same syndrome on this specific uh, um, syndrome. We don't know so, how it's. So if I can put words in your mouth a bit here, what you're saying is that actually the whole plant effect may be what's important rather than the, the isolated cannabinoid. Right now we know that the entourage effect, this is what it work. Because if we want to isolate it, the, the research is more, um, more deep than we know. We don't know really what is working on what kind of uh, cancer or what kind of cells. We don't know yet, but we know the entourage effect is working. About, uh, uh, the, the indication right now that the patient get the drug in Israel is for uh, PTSD or pain, any kind of pain. So we know it's working on pain, but we don't, don't know how it's working. So do you see a biosynthesis as a threat to your business or do you see it as a potential advantage for the future? It's a different business. It's a biomedical, it's a pharmaceutical business. It's different. It's cost a lot of money. That's why we don't want to go there right now because uh, we need a lot of budget to research this kind of biosynthesis. You're going now, from what you say, you're going much more for the wellness market and yes. not the, 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 the kind of the, the pharmaceutical end of the market. Absolutely. So what are the big opportunities for you at the moment? And what are you thinking of next for your business? What is the next for our business, first of all, is to develop the new strain. There is all the time developing for new strain that actually specific on uh, goes specific to special indications. If we go into Crohn's disease and if we go to uh, epilepsy and to uh, 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 I'm sorry, I, for, I, I forgot the kind of illness. Uh, uh, there is a lot of patients uh, uh, from cancer, from chemistry. If, if patients go to chemistry and they get the pain. So we want to actually to provide the special treatment to special indication. This is the next step. The, 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 the next step after that is to get the, the, drug, the, the drug delivery. If it's suppository, if it's cream, if it's gels or pills. Uh, another uh, 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 treatment that you can get not from only flowers or oil. If you can get it from another medical device that you can provide, uh, of course, it's uh, under prospection and it has to be under the, the supervisor of the Ministry of Health. But this is the next step of this industry and it's it's doing tremendous. Right now in the, our R&D, we have suppositories, we have pills, we have creams that's working. So you can get it with not only from smoking or oils. So there are a lot of very important medical applications which will continue to grow. But there is at the moment um, a, a kind of uh, wellness industry which is not very serious. You know, things like CBD in washing powder or CBD impregnated underpants, which was one thing I saw on the internet. CBD is, is a different CBD is a different market. It's yes. a different market. And do you think that that market will fall away as a bit of a fad where the kind of market that you're in 
will continue to grow uh, in a much bigger way? Look, it's a different market. The CBD market, it's, I think, six or seven times bigger than the medical market. Because CBD, you can get it any kind of, uh, I don't know, special stores or dispensaries or whatever in Europe. And the CBD products are different. But you cannot write down on any kind of product that it's good for or it's health for or it's working for. It's only CBD products. And it with CBD isolated and it, it, this is without THC. It's coming from hemp, usually, or isolated, and it don't have the entourage effect. Because it don't have the entourage effects, you don't know really how it's work or when it's work. It's only CBD. The medical markets, it's different. It's including THC. It's including the, the psychoactive uh, 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 cannabinoid that's working on the brain in some kind of uh, 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 treatment. So it's different market. We know the medical market are increased, huge, and it's going bigger and bigger. Another thing I wanted to ask was about um, ESG and sustainability in particular, because a lot of these crops that are grown in glass houses need a lot of energy. There's a lot of waste material from, from extraction processes. Do you think those issues of sustainability are going to be something that is, is going to be uh, part of your thoughts for the for the coming years? Uh, I don't think we would uh, we use a lot of uh, a, a, a lot of power or a lot of energy because in Israel it's a warm country. There is a lot of sun. That's why we uh, actually grow in greenhouse. It's a different product than uh, 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 the other. It's not a greenhouse. Actually, it's indoor. It's indoor growing part that actually working on Canada because in Canada there is a lot, not a lot of sun like in Israel. So we use a lot of sun. It's a warm country and uh, it, it's not cost a lot of power and all the waste that we have from the plant, it's neutral. So it's coming back to the earth. So we are actually want to work green <laughs> in the green part. So you are one of these bright CBD mines uh, uh, that we want to tap into. So uh, Golan, what are your thoughts about the future of this sector? Where is it going? Look are into your crystal about, ball. <laughs> are we talking about the, the medical cannabis or the CBD sector? Well, I think actually your thoughts on, on both would be helpful because it's very helpful to investors to know where you, where you think it's all going. First of all, if you are an investor, you need to look at, uh, at the team. This is what my, my objective. Uh, you have to look at the team. You have to look at the, who run the company because there is a lot of uh, ups and downs in, uh, in this sector, if it's a public company or if it's private company. Uh, and the team is really, really important who running this, uh, this whole show. And of course, if you are a full integrity company, it's uh, more helpful for you to be uh, fast and to be, uh, I don't call it selective, I can call it flexible. Because this, mar this market, you have to be flexible. Now, uh, the market's uh, demand for high THC, you have to, uh, uh, to supply uh, the high THC demand. Now it's working on the balance demand. You have to be with the full uh, uh, products, with the full package of products. Uh, and the CBD sector is just increased because now you have eatables, you have ice cream with CBD, uh, you have the wellness part, you have the cosmetic part from, with CBD. So it's increasing and it's all, all the time uh, coming up with the new products and it's without regulation. So you can sell it for uh, uh, anyone who wants. Unlikely, not like the, the THC part that you have to sell it under prescription and the patient have to go to the doctor and it's it's taking time until he get this uh, uh, this uh, uh, medication or this uh, uh, prescription so i think the demand is working on and as we can see there is a huge demand in this uh, two sectors in the cbd sectors and in the uh, thc sectors if we, we just want to to compare israel is 9 million people the market in Israel right now is 1,000 patients. It's 40 tons per year. You know how much the market in UK? 
The market in UK is only two tons. You are 64 million people. So if you want to compare it, you're only 9 million people. We are uh, uh, actually uh, supplied to the market 40 tons. In UK, it's only two tons. So the demand is huge. And you have to, you have to work with this. And it's all under regulation. This is what blocking this up. And we see that the, the, the regulator gets uh, um, a more, more positive way in those kind of years to, to actually to provide the cannabis industry, to help to the cannabis industry. Yes, the, the regulation is an important part of the future because it's, it is regarded with suspicion by some regulatory authorities around the world. But I wanted to finally uh, ask you to just uh, tell the investors who will be watching uh, Edison Open Forum, what's your investment case? What would you say to the person who might be thinking of investing in your company? Why should they invest in you? Uh, look, uh, we are rapidly rushing up. We came up uh, three and a half years ago, and now we are one of the biggest suppliers in Israel. Israel is one of the biggest markets uh, in the medical industry in Europe. Uh, as I said before, we are 40 tons. I think uh, my team uh, is the best team who is running the company. This is, I think, the best way to look over it. Uh, in Israel, there is a farms and there is a manufacturers, and there is only two companies, and we are one of them that's actually control the farm and the manufacturer. So you control the quality of the strain, you control the supply chain, and you control the time that you get it to the market. This is really, really important because if I put it in the, if I put it on the shelf, the first. I sh I'm, I'm actually going to be there, and there is not room for all of them, for all of the products. There is a capacity for the shelf. So I think uh, just look at the team. This is the most uh, important thing. Very eloquently put, Golan, and thank you so much for your help in this Edison Open Forum. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.